Welcome back. It's time to turn in a couple of quests. First, let's come back to Handsome Wilm. Your work is quite satisfactory. The mistress is safely back in her quarters aboard the Sojourn. She has empowered me to offer you one of these items for payment. Alright. Some goggles. I don't currently have any goggles, so that would be good. Let's see. We have a choice of... Bless, they gives you, you have your ability to cast Bless, which means I have to actually try to, oh, actually, it said to cast a Blessing. All right, you and your allies are filled with courage, gain plus one morale bonus. Okay. Insight allows me to perceive weaknesses in opponent's armor for bonus attack. And disable devices and search. Well, I think I'm going to take the search bonus, and maybe I have some hope of being able to find a secret door at some point, even though it's certainly not my strong suit. And let's see if I get anything from the daily dice today. Round and round she grows. 87 boosts. Minor Slayer. Okay. Minor Slayer Count Boost. Well, that'll be useful when I go back inside the area there. And I have a few more experienced things, but for now I'm not going to worry about those. So if I get close to four and I need to in a mood to level, then I'll start using them. Hello there. You are truly incredible, Blaze. Arisa has to stop talking about you since she returned. And I'll make sure the whole village hears of your bravery. Uh, thank you, Mayor. And what do I get in return? Well, obviously, goggles. Seeing that I just got a set of goggles, that's not going to be all that useful. Protector's gloves. I already have some gloves, boots. Lesser cold resistance versus Pathfinder, tumble and strength. Nah. Nimble grasp. No. Anger's ret expeditious retreat. This boot rate is one of two pieces of Anger's wrath. When both are items equipped, you receive plus two bonus to hit. Oh, that's nice. Nice jump. All right. I guess I'll take anger step and see how that works. All right, so that gives me All right, gives me that mean I have to I can activate it duration five minutes increases build trans well we'll find oh two charges per day all right so that's just in case I need to go a little bit faster now all that's left is to head out to Amalgan and see what he has to offer. Oh, I'm at one, okay, and this lasts for, well, in effect, getting your kill, lasts for one hour. So for the next hour, I'll get, well, times 1.5 credit. So a little extra credit for what I'm doing. Oh yes, let me make sure I bring in my wool. No, and that's wild empathy. Alright, let's summon my companion. Summon a nature's ally. And 
And let's head out. Hello. Nope. Alright, that takes care of them pretty quickly. And everything is going to be down here. Now, it also so happens that the place I'm going to for this Dungeon Misery's Peak is also the last of the points I need for the exploration quest. Or deed or whatever they call it in this game. And let's see. Let's come up this way. Now let's see what we've got here. Alright. Well, there I thought I would have to jump down. need to kill all of these though. Ouch. Of course it never hurts adding a few more to my total. I'm at 175 of 200. I want to get to at least 200 before I leave Corthos. That would sound like a nice good number. Alright, up here. Oh yeah, here's a real fun group to go against. Hello! Okay. Alright, anything else done? Alright. Alright, that's taken care of now down this way. Looks like we're going to get through half the island. At least there's zombies so that the scimitar is useful against it. Probably at some point need a bludgeoning weapon just in case we run into the skeletons. All right, now let's talk to Am. Oh, 195. Oh, spiders. Hundred ninety-eight. Just two more. Oh, how so we? A pair of rats. Well, I was expecting to get extra memories of the party here. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get the 400. Alright, now we can go this way. Hello there. I received word from Master Hayton. Are you ready to meet me in the top at Misery's Peak? Uh, yes I am. Alright, simply follow the road south, up the mountain, and Master Hayton will be waiting. Alrighty. Up this way. Sounds like a real fun place. Misery Speak! And... Like, this should give us... Oh, actually... It's a bone-chilling breeze emanates from the mouth of Misery's Peak. Alright, that takes care of... That one, I think. Let's see how we're doing with the exploration. 
And that's Slayer. This is Rare Account Explorer. I found all the... It says... Oh, I still need the Trine of the Devour. Watchful Vigil. I didn't get credit for the Aqueduct? <laughs> you would think the fact that I rescued someone from there that I would have gotten credit for it. Alright. This is Corthos Island. This is a long one. It'll take more than one episode for me to get all the way through. So we'll see how this works. Uh, yes, there is a dragon involved in this. And look, some old friends. Jeets! Tomberon! Come, there isn't much time. And Salinas. Hello there. Ah, oh, you made it! I believe you're acquainted with my associates. They will be the right hand that draws the enemy out. You will be the left hand that inserts the dagger into the Mind Flayer's back. Uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. Uh, Mind Flayer. Oh. What was that to do with the Sahuagin? Listen. Without the dragon and the cult, the Sahuagin are no more dangerous than they ever have been. And in time, we will be able to drive them back into the sea. But, as long as the dragon remains, Korthos is doomed. Our hope is that we now know the true story. Just like the cultist villagers, the dragon is not helping the Sohagen of its own free will. It is being controlled by a mind flare. And how is this possible? I thought dragons were immune to such things. That is the key, my friend. The mind flare is using a magical quarry artifact to magnify its power something called a Mind Sunder. If we can destroy the Mind Sunder, the dragon will be released from its control. Then, maybe Korthos will have a chance. So, you want me to destroy the Quarry Mind Sunder artifact? Yes! Salimis and her group will cause as much ruckus as they can, hopefully drawing the majority of the enemy forces. Meanwhile, you will go find the Quarry Mind Sunder and shatter it. Got it. If Salinas is ready, I'll find the Mind Sunder and destroy it. Salinas, yes. ready your party. I'll weaken the barrier for you. Ready! Yeah. Charge! Good. Now to clear your path. That's Salinas. Hayden clears the passageway for you. Now to find this quarry Mind Sunder artifact. Go, quickly. I will mask your presence from the Mind Flayer. Oh, fun. Wonderful, Mind Slayer. My flares. Alright, let's head on out. Victims of the Devourer cult arise from the icy ground. And fortunately it's zombies. Alright, now. There's quite a lot of ice in this particular one, but I guess that fits this particular setting. What? Oh yeah, this. Down here, down here, down here. Hello, zombie. Actually, I need to come and take care of these guys. lot faster than zombies. Alright, now I can take care of the zombie. See? And the zombie was fighting the hyena, which is, let's face it, the most expendable member of the party. And more zombies. Lots of zombies. Now, what do we have? Oh, 
Oh, then more zombies. Hello, anyone could tell me the way to the artif- I guess not. Alright. Anything else left? Oh. Not just the hyena. Now, let's see. Down here. We have a restaurant here if we were so inclined. We also have some frozen Several adventures. Several humanoid figures surround a glowing pedestal. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted poses. Their faces set in silent eternal screams. Yeah. point we are in this room. Well, okay. We've got a couple of ghouls to take care of. I see you, yeah. And I see you, too. In a white. Okay, now. This is a rather complicated room. There's no way I am going to start that so close to the end of an episode. So, we shall pick a couple of these. And might as well use the rest shrine and do that to end our episode. Might as well use up. Where is that wolf? All right, thank you. Now. All right. Make sure I'm ready. I'm at full there. I'm at full there. We will rest. And with this, we conclude the episode for the first part of Misery's Peak. Next time we are going to go into the larger room and if all goes well, finish this dungeon. Hopefully it won't take three sessions. We'll see you next time for the next episode of Pineleaf Plays The Druid.